Welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're discussing issues that I personally wrestle with with regard to the faith, and today we'll be addressing the question, will we do other things besides pray in heaven? This question occurred to me when I saw a short video by a fellow Catholic who, in passing, remarked that prayer is all we'll be doing in heaven. So, is this true? Well, we've already gone over some verses in the Bible that seem to contradict this. And the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in the streets thereof. Zechariah 8, 5 His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant, because thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will place thee over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Matthew twenty five twenty three, And so on. Both work and play are described as existing in heaven overtly. So, if these things are done in heaven, there must be some thing that people in heaven do besides pray, right? Well, let's look at a passage from the Baltimore Catechism about prayer. Prayer is the lifting up of our minds and hearts to God, to adore Him, to thank Him for His benefits, to ask His forgiveness, and to beg of Him all the graces we need, whether for soul or body. Question 1099 of the Baltimore Catechism. Now, some of these kinds of prayer are impossible in heaven. For instance, those in heaven no longer need to plead for forgiveness or beg for graces, because they have all of that already. However, the first part of this passage, I think, holds the answer to this question, when it says, prayer is the lifting up of our minds and hearts to God. In heaven, people's minds and hearts, and in the new heavens, their bodies as well, have already been lifted up to God, which is why they're able to experience true happiness and fulfillment. Like all other good things, these things come from God. However, here on earth, we don't always realize it, and can even be distracted from that fact. In heaven, there is no more hiding it. Those who experience the joy and delight of the presence of God, or the beatific vision, as it's sometimes called, are well aware that the true nature of all the good things they've experienced is God's nature, so just by paying attention to the good things they're receiving, they are already dwelling on the goodness of God. In that sense, the people of heaven can work, play, jump, run, swim, fly, and do all manner of other things that we can and can't do here on earth, and yet as long as they're enjoying good things, their focus is exactly where it needs to be in order to be considered prayer. So, to say that those in heaven never stop praying would be correct in a certain sense, but to imply that they just stay on their knees for all eternity would give completely the wrong impression, as though God intended to push everyone into streamlined identical tasks in heaven, and completely take away their ability to choose what kinds of things to do from one day to the next. I don't think I'm the only one who thinks that idea of heaven is full of problems, but that's for next episode. Next. Is heavenly life uniform? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.